And once that's done, we've got a nice perfect finish on our 100 mil, 85 mil, and our 90 mil radius. Nice and simple in literally seconds. What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today we're going to be testing out two new jigs that have just hit the market. These are very, very new. One for installing a door lock and one for installing a hinge. So whether this is your first time installing a door or you do this for a living day in, day out, these two jigs here are going to make your life so easy and so fast that you're going to want to get your hands on it. Let's get straight into it guys. Let's do this. All right guys, so let's have a quick look at these two jigs here before I actually show you the demonstration because that's the best way that you're gonna appreciate just how well these two jigs work. Um, the creator of these two jigs is a carpenter and a builder, so that means he knows a thing or two about installing doors. He's been doing it for most of his life. He knows what works and what doesn't, the exact process that's involved. We'll have a quick look at our door jig here first. Now it looks pretty standard, very, very similar to the Milwaukee jig that I've been using for years. Now where this one here is the biggest game changer is with the ability um, to bore out our latch location. So where the latch recesses into the actual door, we're able to do that by simply popping out our little insert here and routering this section here out. Now that's gonna save a lot of time rather than having to chisel it or manually uh, freehand the router into that location like I've been doing for years. Definitely won't be doing that anymore, nice and simple. On the front here, we've got our adjustable lugs to clamp everything on. That'll accommodate for a 35 and a 40 mil door, nice and simple, even a 45 mil door by the looks of it, it's pretty wide. On the face here, we can pop out this insert once again. If you notice, there's a little arrow and there's a 60 right here. So that's a 60 mil offset. Pop it out and we can swap that one there around. Once that one there's locked in place, we've now got it set at 70 mil. So it's nice and simple to use. Like I said, the biggest game changer with this one here is the ability to recess our latch straight in off this particular jig without having to do anything else. Nice and simple. My favorite one by far is this hinge jig right here. Now this hinge jig here, very, very similar concept. Clamp it over the side of the door. What I love about it, we've got our little depth gauge here for our router, same thing on our door lock. Once again, right there, we've got our depth gauge adjustment for our router, so that makes it nice and easy to make sure you're getting the correct depth. What I like about this is this little insert here. We're gonna be able to router this section here out nice and clean. This one here is set on a 90 mil radius. You simply pop out that insert, swap it over, and now we've got this one here set for an 85 mil butt hinge. If you wanna do a 100 mil hinge, pop out the insert, and you use it just like that. So now we can easily switch over from 100 mil, 85 mil, and a radius, nice and simple. Once I show you guys how this one here works on a live demonstration, you're gonna really appreciate it. All right, so I've got an old door here that I'm just gonna be demonstrating this jig on. Drop it on top, it's gonna to accommodate for a 35, 40 mil door. So you can see down there, little V, we can line that up with our pencil marking. Make sure we're 100% happy with that location position it where we need it to, and then we can just simply clamp this one here on. We've got our one set on our 60 mil here for our offset. We're gonna take a 54 mil um, hole saw and we're gonna simply bore out our little center section here. And once you can see your pilot bit come out the other side of the door, you wanna stop, take your drill out, and we're gonna go through on this side. That's gonna prevent any kind of blowout. And you can remove the core. So now we can take our 25 mil hole saw and go straight through the top. Once again, remove our core. And now what we do in this case here is we simply remove our little insert. So now we can take our router and you can see here it's got a little bearing on the side that's gonna allow it to travel around the perimeter um, and staying nice and tight to that edge. So drop it inside. Gonna be a little bit hard for you guys to see, but I'll show you guys the finished product once we're done. All right, so now we've got that one there done. What we can do now is remove it and just simply take out our little corner sections there. You can hear the bearing still going. That's what you call a good bearing. So we're just gonna take out these corners here to allow our uh, latch to sit in there nice and square and 100% flush. 
remove all that little excess from the corner. So once that's done, you can then take your latch, drop it in place, and at this point, I like to pre-drill my holes, or you can use the markings right here to pre-drill it on the actual jig itself. And that there is a nice, perfect recessed latch, nice and simple, using the jig. So it's now time for the hinge jig. So on the side of your jig, you'll notice there's a little depth gauge right here. You just simply take your router and adjust it to the correct depth, as we've got right there. Then you can take your hinge, drop it in place. We've got the little insert here for our 90 mil radius. Clamp it in place. So now we're gonna take our router and plunge it in. I'm gonna travel all the way around. It's gonna be a little bit hard for you guys to see, but I'll show you guys once it's finished. So that one there's done. What I'm gonna do now is release this one. I'm gonna remove that insert for our radius and we'll swap it over for our 85 mil butt hinge. I'll do another one right next to it. Repeat the process. Once again, this time we're going to have it set for our 100 mil. so that means we just take out that insert, drop it in place, and we'll do one more. Clamp that one there off. And now we've got three perfect cutouts. The only thing missing now is obviously because we used the router, we've got rounded corners here on our 100 mil and our 85 mil. So what I'm gonna do is take a corner chisel, which I never even knew existed, thanks to Jeff out there, who's actually the creator of this jig here. He's introduced me to a corner jig. So what you do with a corner jig is if you've got a rounded corner like that, you take your jig, simply slide it into its place, square it off, give it a tap, and that'll take out the corner for you. Same thing on this side. You can see there, it's just removed that little corner piece. Do it again over here. That's it guys, simply take a chisel, remove any of that little excess that you might have left in the corner. I'll leave a link in the description for that one as well because I never knew they actually existed. And once they're done, this is what they end up looking like. Perfect finishes. All right, the only thing left to do now is take our hinges. We'll start off here with our 85 mil butt hinge. Now these ones here are a nice, tight, firm fit, which I really like. They're 100% precise. We'll take our 90 mil radius. Once again, slide that one there in. And lucky last, we'll take our 100 mil. Tap 
that one in place. Nice and simple guys, there we have a 100mm butt hinge, nice and smooth, 85mm butt hinge and a 90mm radius. Nice and simple. So there you have it guys, that's two jigs that make life much much easier. You saw just how quick and easy they were to use, especially our hinge jig. In a matter of seconds we had three different types of hinges, perfectly cut, perfectly recessed and they were perfectly fitted. What I mean by that is you guys have seen previous videos where I've tried other jigs and they always leave gaps and there's a big tolerance in it. This one here was absolutely perfect on all three types of hinges so somebody's done their homework. I'll put a link in the description below in case you guys want to pick one up. Um, they're only available in one particular place so make sure you get onto it quick. If you've got any suggestions on how these two products could be improved or any way that we can make these better, put it in the comment section below guys. We're always here to learn and to advance. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, you've learned something new. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.